silver medal at the Botch Sky earlier this year. Got to the last 16 in the World Championships two years ago. Silver medalist at the European Under-22s in 2017, his best result in a senior international competition, you would say. Mikhail Takash, also boxed in Russia two years ago, got knocked out early on. Quarter finalist at both the Youth Olympics and the Youth World Championships back in 2014. He's 24 years old now. Guruli, 25. So Guruli, Georgia in the red, Takash of Slovakia in the blue. As I mentioned, Guruli with a win against Rashid Williams of the Bahamas by unanimous decision in the first round. Box mainly off the back foot on that occasion. Quite quickly to the centre of the ring here. Leading off with a left hook. Fighter in red, reaching for the right hand. Takas short with the jab. Tried to lead with an uppercut there, left uppercut Takash. That's a high risk punch, and he almost got countered with the right. Right hand from Guruli was a decent shot, left hand as well, but he was just taking the weight back there. Takash, like, smile on his face there. Realising that he maybe be caught out a bit there. Referee just talking to Takash about keeping that head up. Looking for the single shots, really, so far, Guruli. And again there, just shooting the left hand up from the waist. Difficult punch to throw. Wasn't quite an uppercut. The screw shot really, halfway between a hook and a uppercut. That kind of 45 degree angle on it. Dipped a long way to his left to try and get some power on it. the overhand right there, Guruli. I think a shoelace has come undone there for Takash. Just over a minute remaining in round one. Nice stiff jab there from Guruli. Right hand got through there from Guruli. Sakash came forward, just met him on the way in. overhand right there Takash comes in behind the high guard but with his head absolutely still and was met by a jab there from Garuli who's won this opening round the Georgian both of them are looking for pretty extravagant punches a lot of the time might be better off just keeping things a, a bit simpler. Round 
short straight shots I think for either one of these two would work well against the other one because a lot of the time they're opening out looking to throw these big wide sweeping punches overhands ten lines across the board there for Gurley so you can't really criticize him too much because he's won that opening round and he's won it with something to spare well that was a good right hook got in nice and close there with the feet So into the second round here. Lasha Garuli of Georgia in the red. He took the first 10-9 with all five judges. So Mikhail Takash of Slovakia really needs to get this second round to level things up heading into the third. Just short with the jab there. Garuli again just tries to throw that right hand from the waist. Throws the jab and then tries to lead off with a, a left hook. The referee just having a word about Hitting with the inside of the glove there, slapping to Takash. Looking for the body with the right hand there, Garuli. Pecks out the jab. That's not a punch he throws all that much. Right hand got through there from Takash combination there from Garuli the jab almost just jabbed the glove and took the glove away and then he threw the right hand down the middle Right hand there from Gurley, but again, again it just comes around the back of the head. And short with the right hand, Takas counters with his own right. He's had a better round here, I think, the, the Slovakian fighter. I don't think he's done enough to win it necessarily into the final 30 seconds. And both of them have gone about their work in exactly the same way in the second round as they did in the first. First, there was a jab there from Takas, but then Gurley just stepped on him and look to let that combination go chases the right hand in there with the left Gurley and just about got there but they're Ladies and gentlemen, aiming big shots one, the pair of them particularly Gurley close around that second round than the first round but I still think it'll go to the red corner four round of the five judges going for Garuli one going for Takash so Four scores of 20 points to 18 in favour of the Georgian and one level. So it's a familiar kind of scenario here, one we've seen many times over the course of the last few days where Takash needs 10-8. He needs a big, big round win in this final round to turn things around here. In man's welterweight division, ringside judges from Netherlands, Wales, Morocco, Sri Lanka, and Kyrgyzstan. Referee in the ring, Emerson Mastok, Guatemala.
coming to the ring first. Fighting out of the red corner, the boxer representing the Republic of Moldova. Please welcome Dmitry Galagot. So into round three. And now, please welcome in the blue corner. 40 seconds in. Garuli just missing fractionally with that right hand. Jab from Takash taking on the gloves and again there from Garuli. Good right hand straight down the middle. Little jab, which wasn't heavy, but hit the gloves, got through the gloves, then just shot the right hand straight down the centre, nice and loose, didn't try and put too much power on it, nothing extravagant about it, but it landed. Left to the body there from Garuli was a good punch as well. When he just keeps things more simple, doesn't wind up quite so much, doesn't try and land the big shot, he's more effective. Left to the body there from Garulli. Again, good rotation. Just set his feet and landed it. That's the Slovakian corner. Their fighters going out here, and I think they probably know it. Into the final minute. Right hand, and then just rolled out there, Garuli. The right hand was taken on the gloves. Right hand to the body there from Takash. Short left hook there from Garuli. He's a confident fighter. And there's definitely some ability there, I think. I just think he would be, he would be better if he looked to keep things a bit simpler. Look for a massive overhand right there. But as I said before, he's going to win this fight, and that'll be two wins out of two, so he's not really due too much criticism. But in terms of going really deep into this tournament, I just think if he simplified things a bit, that would give him a better chance. But he's done a good job here. There he goes, leading off with a big right uppercut. He loves to just pick up those gloves from low to try and get a lot of power into his punches. Touch of gloves between the two at the end of the fight, so Garuli's going to go through here. up against Muslim Maksudi, who we saw in the previous fight. In the round of 16, that could be an interesting matchup, actually. So, Gruli goes through, unanimous decision. And gets it with all five judges in that final round. Three rounds to nil with three of the judges. Two rounds to one with the other two. So 4-1 split actually in that final round, looking at it. <laughs>